happy Sunday morning to everyone and welcome back to Harvest Home Hermitage. I thought for today's video I received this item on Friday and I thought that I would um once I got I started actually unboxing it before I realized that hey I should do a video about this I should do an unboxing video of course I can't do that because it's like because I'm <laughs> too late I've already unboxed it but um I purchased a water a filtration water filter uh, filtration system from Mother Earth News um, and this is one that they have advertised in their magazines I looked for a I looked in the latest two and could not find um, where it had been where it was in there um, but it is on their website and I will post a link uh, to that below it is if I'm not mistaken it goes for about hundred and eighty nine dollars Gracie get down honey get down sweetheart thank you Thank you. It goes for about $189, um, if I remember correctly, which is considerably less expensive than other comparable, um, comparably good systems or, or, okay, I'll, I'll get you. You're, you're not going to, a Berkey is, is considerably better probably than this one, but it is very expensive. Um, this one is considerably less. And what I'm concerned about, I've got, uh, Plenty of rainwater catchment systems, but here on the Gulf Coast, when there's flooding, when there's a hurricane or a tropical storm that comes in with any real strength, um, our water systems can be very quickly contaminated. And of course, with the latest research coming out from the EPA that the uh, rainwater itself is now full of PFAS, uh, which is um, permanent chemicals that cause uh, cancer and other problems reproductive issues. Um, I wanted a way to filter if I needed to use my rainwater catchment system as for potable water. I wanted to be able to filter it well. And um, this one has a good has a good filter for that sort of thing. At least I hope it does. It has a good charcoal filter in it. Um, anyway, so anyway, I, as you can see, I have pulled things out of the box already. This is the item in question. Um, it came out of these boxes. As you can see, um, it is, it's a Brio filter, water dispenser body. Um, it has this top on it. I did stop partway through. It's plastic, which I was really hoping it wouldn't be, but there you are. Um, actually, it has a lot more plastic in it than I was hoping for. Um, here at the Hermitage, we're trying to, I'm try, or excuse me, I am trying to um, eliminate as much plastic as I can. Uh, the modern manufacturing industry is not helping me with that. <laughs> Oof. Okay, so let's get this off and start putting things together. Um, let's see, I've got a lot of peanuts that the uh, kitty cats will be happy to play with. I'm sure you noticed I already had kitty cats in the boxes. <laughs> let's see, that, and probably instructions. Okay, all that goes into a box. All right, and in here, again, like I said, considerably more plastic than I was hoping for. Um, I did know before, before I purchased it that the um, croc is produced in China. Um, Brio's packaging does guarantee, however, that it is lead free, BPA free, and FDA approved. So, Hopefully it's, it, it should be good. It's reasonably good quality. It's kind of thin. Um, I'm pretty sure this would be considerably heavier if I were to get it from a, a good Texas croc stoneware manufacturer. But for what it is, it's pretty good. Let's see. Now, it's got this little plastic nozzle. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the first thing to break. And then I'll have to go find a metal one that fits it. Good luck with that, probably. 
Um, all right, and it came with two little washers, little silicone washers. I put one on one side, one on the other. And I am making an assumption about these and I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions. <sighs> this comes from, okay. Let's see, I've got the, um, sorry. I've got a card here from Self-Sufficient Living in Fort Worth, Texas. And it says, congratulations on the purchase of your America One Croc system. Okay, parts list, ceramic croc and spigot with washers, clear water reservoir, America One filter in a box, uh, scotch bright pad for cleaning and an extra 3M double-sided adhesive pads. Okay. As a snug fitting lid, it's recommended to leave the lid slightly ajar so water flow into the crock is not hampered. Okay, so you gotta be careful and not, not create a vacuum in there. All right, uh, thanks the team at Self-Sufficient Living. It removes 99.999% of bacteria and reduces virus, arsenic, and fluoride. Okay, so it's not a, it's not, com doesn't completely remove viruses or, or other contaminants, but it does remove quite a lot of them, reduce them. And it's got a 0 0.2 micron filter. Okay. Get down, please. Get down. Grace, get down. Thank you. Okay. And it's got a lot of instructions. Now. Cat, I do not need your help, baby. Okay, let's go ahead and put this beast in here. If I can get it together, let's see. Well, let's not give that view to the neighbors, to the folks. Okay, and now I need to screw this bit in. This is what's going to happen is I'm going to end up with it upside down. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now it's good and tight. And it does say, I can show you where it says made in China. I can show it to you right side out. Huh. I can get it to, can you see that? It says made in China. Okay. I've got a puppy dog over there munching out on um, plastic styrofoam peanuts. I'm not sure I like that. Okay, we have to get those off the floor. All right, now, Grace, you do not need to be in the box. Nobody, in fact, actually needs to be in the box. Now, I have to admit, okay, take it with you. Take and go chew on it. Empty box, empty paper box. This little beast is the filter. And it is a gravity fed so filter system. Um, I don't see any more things to keep it in place. I don't see a, unless, oh, here. Uh -huh. It's got a little uh, fly a little winged uh, nut here, winged nut here to, there's more than one winged nut in the room, isn't there? Uh... <laughs> anyway, it's got a winged nut attached. Put it in the bottom. Screw it on properly. Yeah, I don't 
don't know if this is going to do what I want it to do, but it should at least uh, make my drinking water here taste better. My sister complains mightily about the drinking water in the house and how it doesn't taste good. Usually when I'm trying to get her to drink more water. Grace, let the kitty up. She doesn't want to play like that. Grace, gentle, gentle, play gentle. Grace. Okay, Harriet, run. Okay, there we go. Um, so I've got the little beast together. Put the lid on it real quick so you can see it all together. Grace, I, Grace, honey. I know bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is the best stuff in the world, isn't it? I know. Oh, here, go for it. Uh, go for it. I gave you the box. I mean, really. Anyway, here it is all together. Oops. We've got the crock with the uh, little thing here, little spigot. And it goes up into this top. Um, I suppose if it was a little bit better made, they would have uh, put a vent of some type at the top so that water could dis so that air could displace the water inside instead of having to keep it ajar, keep the lid ajar. But that's engineering for the next go around, I guess. All right, let's give it a rinse out real quick. Ah. Let's give it a rinse out. You realize I was trying to let you out before she could do that again, right? Let's give it a rinse out. Now I'm going to get the crock. Now, the instructions do say to clean it out with bleach before trying it for the first time. I don't actually have anything with bleach in it right now. So we're gonna go with plain laundry soap. I need little ordinary laundry, or not laundry soap, dish soap. Bubble wrap is fun. This is a bad thing. <laughs> the dog enjoys popping bubble wrap. That's just sad. All right, let's clean it off. All right. Let's dry off the outside before I put it back on my nice cabinet over there. Do not knock this off. I can read the 
instructions again. I do not see what to do. To let her know. Okay, I missed a step on the filter. Place the second wash on the stem and attach the wing nut. Okay. Uh, tighten the wing nut until the filter tight. Hold on. Remove the filter from this box. Remove the plastic nut from the bottom filter. Separate and remove the two washers. Two washers. Is that what this is? No. This is not two washers. Okay. What two washers? Let's find out. Are there two washers in there? Righty tidy, lefty loose. Here we go. I wonder how many adults still say that besides me. Did I miss two nuts on here? Ah, there they are. Those two little, that little clear thing is not just a flange. It is two nuts that need to be removed and separated. I thought it was just flange. I thought it was a flange when I looked at it. Oh, so let's remove these two guys. Okay. Okay, one can go back on. down in here. Now the other can go back on. And the wing nut can go back on. And now tighten until finger tight. Do not use pliers. Okay. Finger tight. Insert the clear siphon tube into the stem of the filter. Twist the tube while pushing to seat inside the stem, but not too hard. Only insert enough of the tube to hold it in place, about a quarter inch. If it goes in too far, the inner screen will break. Okay. Okay. Huh. We're going to see if this is going to go in at all. I need to, I've got this tubing, I've got this hole. They are exactly the same size. Well, I need to squeeze it down a bit to get it in there. Now, I guess the tubing is a little bit smaller than the opening, but not much. Okay, come here. Soften you up just a little bit. Now, let's get you in there without breaking anything. Not breaking anything would be good. Although it certainly would show, okay, there we go. We're in. Now, now I can put the whole thing together, I think. Fill the upper unit with water, taking care not to overfill above the vent holes near the handles. Ah, there is a vent hole. Okay, there are a couple of vent holes. They're right here. You see where my finger is. Okay, do not overfill the system. To fill the water reservoir about one third full and check for leaks. Okay. Okay, now, any leaks? I do not see any leaks. Yay! It's got to be a first for me putting something together. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Fill the upper unit with water, taking care not to overfill above the vent holes near the handles. As water is dispensed for the crock, add more water to the upper reservoir. Do not overfill the system. 
Uh, flow rate. It usually takes a couple of days for the flow rate to reach its maximum output, about two to three gallons an hour. The flow rate increases as the ceramic shell and the mixed media inside the ceramic shell become saturated with water. Install and twist the siphon hose into the filter system to achieve this flow rate. Okay. And you can clean the filter on this one. Okay. That's good because the, uh, <laughs> the replacement filters for these are listed on the Mother Earth News website as $99. They are fully half the price of the uh, entire filtration unit. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in about five liters. It's marked off in quarts and liters. Uh, the maximum amount in, is six liters, but it's above. But that is above the uh, holes. So I'm going to go to this little uh, mark here, which should be five liters or thereabouts, five quarts at least. I'm going to go this little uh, line here. Okay. And now we'll go and put it on. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get the, uh, here's the, the water. Let's put this down inside. Hello. Put this down inside. And we're in. All right. Says to leave it ajar a little bit. Okay. Well, there we go. I don't see anything leaking so far. Is come back to this later and we will see what's happened. Hopefully, it will not have leaked all over the top of my nice little wooden cabinet, wooden bath cabinet here, but we'll find out. All right. It's been a few hours now. And yeah, you can see I didn't trust it to not leak on the, uh, on the tabletop, I didn't want to risk it, so I went ahead and put a, an absorbent pad down there, but it looks like I didn't need to worry because there's no leakage. That's cool. Okay. And as you can see, it has gone down by a considerable amount. Looks like there's about probably about two and a half quarts left in it, in the thing. So let's go ahead. Let's see. And hmm, tastes like water. Okay. Well, that is still, that is nice. It's nicely done. It works. And for what it is, it's a good product. So there we are. That is the uh, water filtration system that has been advertised on uh, Mother Earth News Magazine and on their website. And I will post a link to it in the in the descri description box below bye bye